welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to install the Turnkey Linux WordPress appliance in VirtualBox. Let's get started. I've set up the basic VirtualBox settings for our WordPress appliance, and we are ready to go ahead and get this install started. And so we're greeted with the standard turnkey Linux boot screen and we're going to install to the hard disk. We are going to use the guided entire disk option, the center option, and go ahead and continue through that. Write changes to disk. And I'll be back in just a moment when it's done copying data. All right, now we need to install the Grub bootloader in the master boot record. So just yes to continue. And we want to go ahead and restart now. And the one thing we need to do, if it does not prompt us, is make sure we remove the optical disk from the virtual box. And it Took that and we are booting up again. And once we're done booting up, it's going to prompt us for some password information and we can go ahead and then start the actual WordPress. All right, password for root account. my SQL account and the WordPress admin account email address for the WordPress admin account and we're just going to accept the default there. We're going to say skip on the turnkey Linux backup and migration option and we're going to skip on the system notification and critical security alerts. And we're going to go ahead and do install security updates. And this should only take a moment or two. All right, a security update to your kernel requires a reboot to go into effect. We're going to go ahead and reboot the machine one more time. All right, so now we are presented with the turnkey WordPress appliance menu. At this point, we're going to take one additional step before we actually go into WordPress. We're going to go to the advanced menu and we're going to shut down. And I'll show you why in just a moment. All right, now that we're powered off, so we don't have to continue to do this process over and over again, we are going to go ahead and we're going to clone our virtual machine and we're going to call the clone WordPress YouTube demo and we're going to say continue and clone and we did select the full clone option. So at this point, we have another virtual machine that has the updates performed on it as of when we shut down the template machine. And we can go ahead and start this up. All right, so we can see from this that we are at 192.168.1.10, excuse me, 1.18. And so now we'll move over to our web browser and take a look at our WordPress.
And so we've got our basic WordPress install. And if we go to slash WP admin, we can log in as admin. And we will be presented with the back end of WordPress. From here, you can start updating and customizing to your heart's content and start working on that website that you've always wanted to build. So in our case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to update to WordPress 5.2.2. And it's warning us to back up the database, but there's nothing in the database other than the default information. So we are going to go ahead and say update now. And this will just take a moment or two and we will be on the latest and greatest version of WordPress as of July 2019. All right, so we are on 5.2. See, maybe we have another update to do, and the only update here is for a plugin. And we're actually going to go ahead and remove the plugins that are installed by default. Okay, so at this point, we've got a base WordPress install that we can customize to our heart's desire. Take a look at pages. We've got a sample page and a privacy policy. So let's do an edit on the sample page. And as you can see, this is just some sample text that they put on here. And we are going to click on view page. And we can see that we've got our sample page. And it does say turnkey Linux in the title and from here we have as I said before a working WordPress install that's running on our local machine and we can do all the testing and experimenting that we want to do on a non live production site this is where I'm going to wrap things up today but in the future we will do some additional videos on WordPress and we will go into some of the interesting things that you can do with the Gutenberg editor. Now with that being said, please keep in mind that as of the current state of Gutenberg in July 2019, you really want to consider using some additional blocks to build from. and. We'll take a look at a few of those in future episodes as well, just to see what you can do without having to spend money on a package such as Divi or Elementor Beaver Builder. So on that note, thank you for watching. This is Jeremy Lake signing off for Practical IT. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day.